We need money. Bro, I'm we not need gonna money. Do this, we need bro. You income. You trying to force it, bro? I'm we not need gonna an do income. This. You're not. not I ain't gonna tell you to leave your man because you ain't gonna listen to me. But this is what we're gonna do, okay? First of all, when you leave Waffle House, you're gonna take him up there to the plasma center and he's gonna donate some plasma, okay? What makes you want to be with a hobosexual? Like I yeah, don't, seriously. I just don't understand. I don't get it. it. Like you know what it is? I, I think I think it's that that itch that they believe that be they needed? can change this man. No, no. you know what I'm saying? Oh, is a bum. No, so. I'm saying I don't know why girls think, feel like they can change a guy. Like that that has to a lot the mindset of a lot of females. What? Oh man, so we started video number four. Let's what go. we got? Video number four. What we got? What we got? So we got video number four. We got a woman that goes off on her boyfriend for not wanting a minimum wage minimum wage job, but he has no income. Uh, boy, you gotta love him. What do Wallow call him? Uh, couch warriors. Oh, dang. let's go from couch to couch. <laughs> couch hobo sexual. Yeah, hobo sexual. <laughs> It's this yeah. joint podcast. Oh, let's go. We need money, bro. I'm we not need gonna money. Do this, we bro. need you income. To force it, bro. I'm we not need an income. You're not. Gonna... I ain't gonna tell you to leave your man because you ain't gonna listen to me. But this is what we're gonna do, okay? First of all, when you leave Waffle House, you're gonna take him up there to the plasma center and he's gonna donate some plasma, okay? We're gonna get you some money, put some gas back in your tank for, for him wasting your time. Now he's going to be weak and a little lightheaded from donating the plasma. So when you get home and he fall asleep, I want you to take all, everything he got. If he got a game, if he got an iPhone, whatever you got, baby, you're going to go up to Walmart. You're going to put anything you can in that little eco ATM shit and you're going to get you some more money. Every day he don't work, something got to go missing. Something going to the pawn shop, something going missing, okay? The three pairs of jeans he already got, go ahead, take them. Sell them to somebody. Put it on Facebook Marketplace. Get your money, okay? Get your money, because he don't need what. What do you need that for? If he not leaving the house to go to work, there's no reason for him to leave the house at all. Make sure you take his shoes too, all of them. Matter of fact, that's the first thing you need to take is his shoes. The only shoes and the only outfit that need to be left in that house is some non slip shoes and some some um maybe some black pants or some khakis you know something he could wear to a job interview okay and the only other outfits he gonna have up in that bitch is the uniform they give him whatever the fuck he need to work at but no on a serious note though for real for real for real he already baby daddy he already baby daddy and i just want to let you know whatever your reasons are for keeping him he's going to drag you down and he's just going to make your life harder you eventually are going to realize that you're not raising one child you're raising two but you're going to you're going to realize like damn i had this baby with him and he don't even want to help me take care of this baby and the more you go through motherhood and realize how much you're sacrificing for your child while watching a person who helped you create that child totally not give a fuck about even helping you to be better at supporting that child all by yourself the more miserable you're going to be but you're going to realize you wasted so much time and he was holding you back Whatever struggle you think you're going to have when he gone, I guarantee you, you're only blocking your blessings, keeping him around. But because you keep him around, whatever blessings are in store, whatever help that you could be receiving, it can't be given to you because he's in the way and he's going to fumble it. He will make you lose everything great that you have. Because even if you do manage to elevate with him on your hip, he will eventually become jealous of you. He will become very jealous and resentful and hateful of you and he will begin to sabotage shit for you. So the better you get, the worse he's going to get. You you will never inspire him to be anybody. You He will never grow. You can never force him to be who you got this image of him to be. You can only replace him and hope that maybe he feels so sad and guilty about not taking care of his child that he step up and be there for his child in the future. But as long as you're supporting him, he's, he's never going to step up and be anything for that child. So you are doing both of y'all a disservice. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, by the time he would have been done with me, oh, he would have been begging for a job at Waffle House or McDonald's because that was going to be the only time he ever got food put in his stomach. He was going to be starving, dirty, and getting abused at home. So I don't know. I think you need to put your foot down if you is going to keep him. Sometimes some, some dudes really do just like a mean, aggressive woman, and you have to like treat them like their mama would. So if you're going to be his mama, be his mama. Whoop his ass and make him get a job. He don't look like he could fight, sis. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Dang. She said, "Be his ass." Yeah, but but that was ether. I okay. think I think that was a reaction from ether. experience. I believe she lived that. Yeah. Definitely. She, she that Definitely. was just too clear for her. Yeah. First of all, 
I ain't, I ain't keeping no man. Nope, nope. I can raise my child on my own. I don't need to be raising my baby or our baby and you too. But sometimes so, they got to separate in order for them guys to grow. I just don't understand how women, like, what makes you want to be with a hobosexual? Like, I yeah, don't, seriously. I just don't understand. I don't get it. it. Like, you know what it is? I, I think, I think it's that, that itch that they believe that be they needed? can change this man. Yeah. No, you know what I'm saying. Oh, is a bum. No, so. I'm saying I don't know why girls think, feel like they can change a guy. Like that, that has what a, a lot, the mindset of a lot of females. What? Oh yeah, yeah, he got potential. So you know what? Let me. It's but, nothing wrong but, with you pushing your man to but, help him elevate, but you can't make him change. But here's the thing: the thing about change is you have to see change. So if like you, you're saying you got to see that potential. Yeah. So like if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, wrote his resume, but he not gonna go fill out no job applications. That's all you need to see. If you didn't right. bore him clothes to go to the interview, but he don't go, that's all you need to see. How many times you need to see that? Right. It's just like if he doesn't show you he wants to change. Now, I'm not. I'm not a, a proponent of like not supporting the man because giving up on stuff him. happens. Like yeah. you know, yeah. people are neglected in life. They just don't know. There's a lot of people walking around here that's just ignorant. And sometimes and, people and get they just don't know. A sense of depression so it's like too. at the end of the day, like. You can help a man, but you have to see him changing. But like, he has to help himself. That's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if he's not doing anything, like, there's no way in the world you should tell a man to get a job. And he's saying, well, I don't want a minimum wage job when he doesn't have a job. Uh, now, again, that if he's, baby period. should if he's be trying his to hustle, motivation to want to do better. If he's like, trying to hustle and do other things, then okay, maybe he don't want the minimum wage job. But you got to show me something. Yep, and something. I just don't understand why women just allow these homosexuals to just... The, the thing that gets me as a man, <clears throat> excuse me, as a man, I know when I was a young man, I hated not having money in so my pocket. Did I. Yeah. So did I. I don't care if it was <clears throat> $10 or $100. I had to have some sort of money in my pocket. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I listen, I will work the odd jobs. So will I. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning, washing dishes, mm -hmm. um, cleaning stock rooms, you know what I mean? Stocking shit. Because I wanted money in my pocket. Right. But it seems like the, this generation now, what, what are they called? The millennials? Yeah. Is, millennials. That, is, that, is that what they yeah, are? No, they Gen Z's. Z's. They Gen, Gen, Gen Z's. Gen Z's? The yeah. Gen Z's now, they don't. Everything has to be handed. They're entitled. Them. They have the sense of everything. Gotta get, I don't care if it's government assistance, a government check, or they just got to take that shit, or well, they just got to rob you. Who's supposed to Who's supposed to take care of us when, we, when we're when we elderly? Oh, psh, man. I guess we got to take care of ourselves. Oh, Lord have mercy. Boy. Everybody's going to be rappers. That's what it is. Uh, 